in the history of this country, any guesses out of 11,000 people that have served in the United States Congress, how many women of color have served? There is this assumption that black people don't vote, that Latinos are not American citizens, that Asian Americans are Republicans, and that young people are wholly unreliable. I want you to understand that who I am is a product of a movement. There are not enough people on the inside that look like me. People aspiring to be leaders in this country, they need to go through women of color because we're making our voices known. When I say I'm a social justice seeker, I'm a mama for justice or all these things, that's where I'm saying I'm American. I don't need to say it. I, I act like an American. Candidates do not normally talk to people in the Asian American community because historically speaking, we are the community that turns out to vote at the lowest rates. So we want to change that here today. We're no longer asking for permission to do what we need to do. We're going to do it, and we're going to leave from the top, and people need to see it. The sort of traditional notions of what's possible in American politics are being challenged every day. Elections are important, but our lives are on the line. Elections are important. And brothers, it's about building power in our community to win what is right. Except the communities that need to be brought in reflect the new American majority. They're young, they're brown, they might speak another language. And there's a lot of us. Oh. I'm excited about the fact that women of color are now coming into our own, that we're standing up and taking our rightful place in the pantheon of leadership, that we're changing what the face of leadership looks like. It is a new day, there's a new coalition, and ultimately we're gonna push this country forward because there's more of us than those that seek to do us harm.